Hey everybody, Steve from Resale Dojo back and today I'm taking you guys through what I sold in the past week on eBay. I sold almost $2,000, was a little over $1,900 in sales. All these items were thrifted items from my local thrift stores. Um, nothing that was online or retail arbitrage for these items uh, for this week. Uh, eventually I'll get into that type of stuff and uh, share that with all of you guys, but all of this is 100% thrifted items and let me show you guys how it broke down. Now, as you can see for the past week, uh, it was over 1900, 1931, um, which was up 19.6%. Uh, sales have been a little bit tougher uh, in October going into November. Um, Q4 hasn't hit as much as I thought it was going to for my store, but I think it's more that because I had really built it up during the pandemic and my items are items that people were wanting during the pandemic, a lot of DVDs, a lot of video games, um, a lot of electronic type of stuff. Um, and if I'm staying steady with what I'm listing and not going hardcore over, uh, my store hasn't really grown that much uh, when it comes to it. As you can see, net after all the fees taken out was almost $1,300 probably take out costs on there. I'm probably closer to $1,000 to $1,100 uh, in profit for the week. Now let's get into what sold for this week. Um, as you guys know, for my store, I sell a lot of DVDs, video games, CDs, um, some clothing, some electronics, that type of stuff. So uh, the video games, DVDs will be towards the end so you can see what type of bolos I had there. There are some awesome sales this week some really awesome bolos if you haven't paid attention to my instagram but let me get into more of uh the non uh media uh hard goods that sold so the first time i want to highlight is this sony cybershot camera i found this one for i believe five dollars at the thrift um, it was complete uh with everything there i tested out worked great uh, and I sold it for $40 free shipping in probably about two months. It took a bit of time. Uh, digital cameras are hit and miss. These cyber shots are hit and miss. Um, I just always look for something that has a really high megapixel before I even look at it. If it's like under 12, I don't even pick it up to look at it um, unless I've sold that one before. Um, and and if it's just by itself and no charger, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. But uh, this one is 16.1 megapixels, so I gave myself a chance looking at it, and the comps were good, and it tested all right. Next is a Sony uh, Discman, uh, or this one they don't even call a Discman, uh, it's just called a Walkman for it. Um, but this one sold for $35.16 free shipping. Also, not all Sony Walkman Discman are the same. Uh, some of them, the market price is more around $20. This one's at $35. There's some that are commonly at like $50. So you just have to look up uh, the model number on there. Uh, you see that I had the model no number there at the end of this one. That's what you're going to want to look up when you find them out in the wild. Um, also, be wary. Uh, buy them from stores that you know you could do returns at or buy it for like super cheap, like one or $2 if you're not able to test it there or not able to return it. I had two clothing items I wanted to share. I, I don't sell many clothing items. I haven't listed many clothing items. I don't think I've listed any in six to nine months. Um, I got a huge pile of just clothing gold sitting uh, in another room right now that I really need to list. Um, but this was a Columbia PFG long sleeve. This one was brand new. I sold it for $35 and 16 cents. Um, I think I had like $7 into this and this one actually sat for a while. PFG doesn't go as well as it used to. Um, this one was brand new. Um, and I just waited it out cause I knew someone was eventually going to buy this one. It's extra large. Um, and it, you know, once you get to the fall, it's more of like the Southern, uh, part of the country is, uh, wanting that type of clothing and so it's going to sell any time of the year if I just wait it out. Flannel season's here. I sold an L.L. Bean a flannel. This one I think I sold for like $22. I took a best offer on this one. I had this one for a while. I just wanted to get rid of it. I'm like, I'm just any type of clothing offer, if it's like in the realm of where I want to sell it, I'm just taking sales on it. That's how I am more, more or less with clothing um, just because 
the sell-through rate's a lot lower on clothing or specific items, and I'm just trying to churn that those items as quickly as possible compared to other hard goods. Um, I sold an iPod Nano. This was for full price on there, the $43.96. I think I had $8 into this one. Once again, make sure if you're buying these, you could uh, return them if they don't work. A lot of times the screen is going to be busted on them. Now I have two CDD. Ah, now I have two CD sales I want to show you guys. This one, if you guys have seen any of my haul videos, this was one that I got for 99 cents maybe about a month or two ago. Um, this one is, I think, like kind of like a thrash metal or death metal band, but this one went for full price. Uh, so anytime I find a sealed CD, I check it. Um, or if it looks like just like some obscure like uh, metal or rap. Uh, artist. I always check those. Um, there's some good value in those. This Bee Gees box CD set I sold for $35.16. Um, now each of these I bought I think for a buck each uh, at the store so I put together a set that I found at the store for four dollars and I had this for about two to three months that I uh, sat on this one so it wasn't as quick but I'm missing the outer box to it I'm just selling the CDs in, in the cases so it was a little bit for collectors they needed I needed to wait for the right one that didn't care about the whole uh, collector box to it a few video games I just want to highlight uh, Zumba Fitness World Party I've sold this one a couple times this one is used and for the Xbox one it goes for $19.95 so if you start to see Xbox One games sitting out there and you see this one, don't pass on the Zumba World Party one right now. It's selling really well. Uh, if you get for a couple bucks, uh, you could, you know, turn it around for 20. Um, all other like Zumba Wii games or Wii U games don't really do well, but this one is doing well right now. Flight Simulator games are going really well still. The hype is still there. Um, this is just one of the flight simulator sales I had. I had one just for the deluxe edition by itself as well for about, I think, $25. This is the combo one uh, where I put acceleration with it, and I sold for almost $40. Need for Speed Most Wanted for the Xbox 360 is always a great seller. I sold this one for $30. Wii games are starting to go up again as Q4 is coming on and Christmas season is coming on. So I actually sold three copies of this game in the last week. Uh, this is Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. I sold them for uh, $21.96. This was a huge software sale I had. This was actually the second highest gross uh, sale that I had for the week. Um, I thought this was going to be my number one, but number two came in, my top one came in a little bit later, actually came in on Sunday, um, but this is for Visual Basic, uh, the programming discs, um, I found these each for 99 cents at a store, um, and when I saw the comps on them, I'm like, wow, it was like crazy high, and they're selling here and there, and I'm like, well, for a $2 investment, I'm going to just put, them, put it out there and just wait it out. And so I had it um, on as a fake sale and sold it for uh, $175 free shipping. Now, this is one example I want to show you guys as I get into the media here is you don't always have to have all the discs. This one I sold with just DVDs only. I highlighted it everywhere. I put in the title, I put it in the comments in bold. Um, hey, this is for the DVDs and there's no Blu-rays, but this is a harder to find anime set. Uh, really highly sought after. If I had the Blu-rays, I probably would have sold these for like 60 bucks or 70 bucks if I had the Blu-rays in there. Um, but I bought each of those for $2 at the store, bundled them together, and put up for $35 because I knew there was going to be a collector out there that would want to watch this and watch it reasonably. Doctor Who, if you could find them, I just wanted to highlight Seal Doctor Who, still selling well. Uh, sold this one for $26. Police Woman, I put this up and sold it in less than 24 hours. Season 1 of Police Woman, old set with Angie Dickinson. Uh, I sold this one full price for $48.95. Uh, I also sold, sold this one uh, the first day of the sales cycle, which was for almost $75. This is Peanuts Deluxe Edition box set. 
Uh, this one I think I sold within less than a week of myself listing it. If you can find these, get them up there right away. They're going crazy prices right now. And lastly is my sale of the week. I bought this for $20 locally on Facebook Marketplace and I just put it up there for an exorbitant price. I knew that I could get this price eventually. I'd find the right person because all four seasons were sealed. I didn't have the movies that come along with it. If you could find the movies, you could go, I probably could have gone for like $300 on it. But to be able to sell four seasons of The Pretender for $250 for shipping, uh, it was insane. I paid $20 for these and I was able to turn it in probably a couple weeks for $250. Uh, there's money in media. Um, always check Facebook, offer up, next door. People are just getting rid of these things. And you can find some awesome uh, DVD sets that people had bought or had been given to them and they just never watched or they don't care about them anymore. So be on the lookout for this one for sure. Uh, but also just be on the lookout for local media that you can find cheaply that you can flip. So once again, thank you guys for joining me. If you like this video, if you like this type of content, or you just like me in general, please think about subscribing and maybe liking this video as well. Um, in the meantime, while you're here, please put a comment below and let me know what were your favorite sales of this week. How are you guys doing? Is fourth quarter treating you well, or is it a little slower than you thought it was going to be? Um, I think the pandemic is kind of kind of boosted us all up and we thought we were going to go to like maybe another level if you didn't like go insanely investing in inventory. Um, so just let me know how that everything's impacting you guys right now. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Bye.